It's JP Smith from Boxing Luton and Steel! Steel, baby! Hey, Kate Broth from Our Wheel Backstage on the High Rise Show. And you know what, man? I'm buzzing like a fridge again, man. It's, it's awesome. good, isn't it? It's awesome, it's awesome, it's awesome. You know, uh, we brought it home and we've done the business. That's all I can say. We brought it home, we've done the business. It was amazing to have more people here to watch me get this victory. And, um, I just want more now, I just want more, so I want to keep pushing on. And you know what, do you think there was power? Because that fight was so nip and, not nip and tuck and nice, but it was just kind of a bit clumsy, the way his clear. style was. just so awkward for it, wasn't awkward. it? Awkward, and do you know what? On the outside, good long shots, good set shots. On the inside, it was timing up really well. You know what I mean? It was, it was stopping me from fighting, so it wasn't, there was lots of times there where nothing was happening, and then he would get his shots off, but I just had to dig deep, and I just had to make it into a fight. I just put the pressure on later on, and he gassed and I just I think I'll just come on strong at the end. He's calling me an old man, but it's still life in the old dog. That's it, I mean, you know what, that was one of the things they said yesterday, you know, and I thought that was, well, that was like the, lift the litmus, cheeky. you know what I mean, lift the, the touch paper yesterday, yeah. like, mm, don't say that, man, don't say that. Don't say that. If anything, it's not, it's not about age with me, you know what I mean, I've still got a lot in the tank, and we've got a lot to prove to people now, so we're going to keep pushing on. And how did you feel as the fight finished, because I was watching, and halfway through, it was like, it was rounds four or five, and I was like, I have no idea what's just going on in there, there's you know too what? much grab, and there's too much, yeah, you know what I mean? There was a lot of holding, there was a lot of nullifying each other's work, you know what, I I know he, he, he won the first round, he's picking the shots. Second round, not sure. You know I mean, I won a couple, couple of rounds, he won a couple of rounds. And then, um, you know I mean, so up, up until that point, points good, he wouldn't, because he was holding me a lot, he was holding me a lot, and I couldn't work. Yeah. yeah. But so, so I, don't, I don't mind little moves as well, that maybe the fight, it's infringements, but that's boxing, so I wasn't moaning. But I just know for a fact the last three, four rounds, I won clear. So I thought, when this would be that decision, I thought we were going to get this, I just thought I went about a couple of rounds, but it was a close fight and a good fight at that. Yeah, well I thought you'd gone away just at the early end and I think you'd stretch it by about three rounds at the end yeah. I thought, because he kind of started, I was saying like this this holding and thing show was just yeah. going to an end, the circus had stopped yeah. and he realised he just couldn't do no more. Yeah, he couldn't get his shots off, but I just think, you know what, credit to him. He was a good fighter, he was I thought. Good fighter, you know what I mean, he was sharp with shots, he had variation, he was hitting me downstairs, I hit him with some lovely body shots and some good head shots. I thought I put him down in one, in one of the rounds. Yeah, I thought I hit him with an and he kind of was off balance, but I hit him, I hit, I, I, my shot helped him on his way. Yeah, so okay. So I thought I was going to get a point there. Right. You know I mean, a couple of times there, he was definitely shunned, but you know what? He caught him with shots as well. It's boxing, you know what I mean? So, almost enough, almost enough was for me. Well, you know what? Everybody's asked you what you're going to do next, so we're not going to ask you that, because we're going to have yeah. a chat about that in the next week or yeah, so, yeah, do you know what I mean? Right. Once we know, when it does settles, we'll see where we're at. And yes, you are. Know how about a big shout for the fans who turned up tonight, Kira? Yeah. That's been awesome, isn't it? They made a difference, you know? There was times there where I was tired. You know what I mean? I was feeling the pace myself. But you know what? When I look out and I see the people that I see on a daily basis shout my name and give me props, it just made me just find that new level. And you know what? Thank you to them. And I hope you enjoyed the night. And you know what? We've got more and bigger nights to come. That's brilliant. And listen, one last thing. Maybe a little mention for your coach, Shav, there. Because uh, he kind of worked this fight so out perfectly, hadn't he? Shout out. You know what I mean? But first of all, first of all, um, first and foremost, I need to say shout out to my coach, Javi Miller, and all the people at IQ. You know what? They put so much time in. Me and all the other fighters at IQ, you know what I mean, they push us on and we're going from strength to strength. And the game plan today was spot on. And for all the advice I was getting in there, as soon as I've done what he told me to do, it was working. Yeah. But you know what? We've got more in the locker. Wicked. Listen, Kay, we're going to catch you up with you soon, man. And still, baby.